Hi everyone. Today I am going to explain the physics behind a very familiar experiment that we all have done in our childhood days. For this experiment, we need a few pieces of paper, a plastic scale, or a plastic comb. So here I have arranged this paper pieces like this. Now take this plastic scale and bring close to this. You can't observe any changes, isn't it? Okay, don't worry. If you want to observe something very attractive, you need to rub this plastic scale with your dry hair. See, now you can observe the pieces of paper got attracted to the plastic scale. The reason behind this is electric charge. There are two types of electric charges, positive and negative charges. There are some objects which is having positive and negative charges equal to one another. In such cases, we can say that the object is electrically neutral. Initially, the plastic scale was electrically neutral. That means it is having equal number of positive and negative charges. When I rub the plastic scale with my dry hair, it's become electrically charged. This charge is called as static electricity. The electrical charge present in the scale got attracted with the positive charge present in the pieces of paper. This force of attraction is also known as electrostatic force of attraction. Let's try the same experiment using a metallic spoon. Take the metallic spoon and rub gently with your dry hair. Then bring close to this pieces of paper. Now you can observe that the paper pieces are not attracted with this metallic spoon. Why? It is because the metals are good conductors of electric charges. So the metal spoon will allow the electrical charges to flow through into the earth. But in the case of plastic scale, it will act as an insulator, which means that it does not allow the electric charges to flow through into the earth. This enable the plastic scale to attract the pieces of paper in this experiment. Thank you.